Let's have a word of prayer. And dearly, Father, I do come to you in the precious name of Jesus. And Lord, I need your wisdom. Lord, I need to be to see these scriptures, Lord, and I ask you, Lord, to just undertake for me, hide me behind the cross. And Lord, speak to our hearts, Lord, that we may uh, grow closer to you. And Lord, open up our understanding. In the name of Jesus, I pray and give thanks. Amen. Okay, thank you. Uh, we're still in the book of Daniel, chapter 3. And uh, hopefully, I will. I will end the next week. We we'll end Daniel, chapter 3, next week. But uh, <clears throat> before we turn to Daniel, let's return to Romans. Let's return to Romans, chapter 4. That's Romans, chapter 4. Uh, I'll see if uh, I can read that. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Romans chapter 15, verse 4. Romans 15, verse 4. And I read the scripture and say, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, for our learning, that, that we Well, I learned that we through the we through uh, patient that we through patient that the word we done with the other line that we through patient and comfort comfort of the scriptures comfort of the scriptures might have hope that we the things that were written aforetime were written for our journey. Talk about the Old Testament. It was written for our learning. The Lord had just about everything there in that Old Testament that we can think of. And it's written for our learning, for our learning. So now let's turn to Daniel chapter uh, 3. Daniel chapter 3. And uh, make sure we have Daniel chapter 3 here. Okay. Just bear with me a moment. I want to uh, pick up with verse uh, 22. <clears throat> I'm going to pick up with verse 22. That's Daniel chapter 3 and pick it up with uh, verse 22. Okay? And uh, verse 22 reads, Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot. The flame of the fire, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Okay? Now, let me verse 22. Say the flame was so hot that it slew the men that took up uh, the three Hebrew, Hebrew boys. It was hot. It, it killed them. It actually killed them. Okay? Now, verse 23. Okay. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, okay, fell down into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Okay, they fell down. Now, then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished. I want to pause right there. But be, be uh, He was astonished when he cast the three Hebrew boys in the midst of the fire. He was astonished. Okay? And let me read the other part before I elaborate on that. Read the other part. Okay? Then Nebuchadnezzar came with a star and rose up in haste and spake 
and said unto the council, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fiery friends? I need to back up. I don't need to get ahead of myself. I do need to back up a minute. Let's see if I can back up to verse 21. Okay. Verse 21. And, uh, okay, verse 21. Then the men were bound in their coats. They were bound in their coats. Their holes in and their heads. Okay. And there are other garments and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Now, I don't know the custom back during that time, but they were clean when they put them in there. They had the brim on, the head. See, they had the head on, hit the coats on, hit the hoses on. Now, once that one, once you burn that fire, that 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 stuff should get fire. It should get fire. To burn that head up too. And uh, what's going on? He said, "I know we put three men in there." He said, "I know that." So what I like to say with there, but the Lord messed with the the mind. See, the Lord messed with the mind. Mess with their eyes and mess with their nose. Okay? That's why it's so important for us to wait on the Lord. Uh, Psalm 27 14 says, Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Uh, wait, I'm going to turn it, that's why I probably, because I don't want to mess that up there. It's uh, 27 14. That's why it's so important for the saints to wait. Wait on the Lord. When we read uh, Romans 15, 4, it says through patient and comfort, okay? That we might have hope well, in the scripture. Psalm 27, 14. 27. Isn't there something? Just bear with me, saying. 27, 14. For the Lord. Ain't that something? I need to mark these scriptures. But he said, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Wait, I said. And again I said, wait on the Lord. And he will shall strengthen that heart. Now, we need to wait on the Lord. Because when the Lord appears, he all he always does something. I mean, he always does something. When he appeared to our Jehoshaphat. Do you know they went out there? He said, he said, the battle is not yours. They went out there and picked up jewelry. The Lord always does something when he appears. Okay? All we have to do is just wait on him. Just wait on him. And uh, uh, right here, if we learn how to wait, if we learn how to wait, he will strengthen our heart. And we'll, we'll see the Lord work Greatly. We see the Lord very greatly, just like right here. Okay, well, let's go back to Daniel. Okay. Now, he actually said, Did not we cast three into the fire? He said, Yeah, cast three. And uh, he said, But let me, let, me, let me read that. Make sure I got it right. Okay. Just bear with me, sir. Okay. Okay. 24, verse 24, okay. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king was a storm, and rose up and, and spake, and, and spake, and said unto his counselor, Did not we cast three men into 
the mist or the fire. They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. And uh, verse 25, Then answered and said, Lo, I see four men, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and have no hurt. And the fourth, and the fourth is like this, like this, uh, the, and the fourth is like the Son of God. Okay, now. He wanted to know, the king wanted to know what's going on. He said, did not be cast three men in there. He said, but I see them loose. And I see the fourth is like the son of God. And they said, yeah, true, okay. And they messed up. He messed up. Now his mind messed up and his eyes messed up. His mind messed up because when the, uh, the men who tied up uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said the flame was so hot it killed them. Now we see that the boys have fell over into the midst of the fire. They're walking. They're walking and walking around loose. And his eyes really messed up because he had to ask somebody. He said, did not we catch three in there? He said, but I see four. So the Lord messed with their mind. He messed with the eyes, and he gonna mess with the all of them nose, nose. He gonna mess with that too. The Lord would like to show himself, but he wants us to wait on him. That's what he wants us to do. Because a lot of times we get ahead of the Lord, and we say, "Lord, you take you take it too long." But that, that's what Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did. They did what uh, Psalm twenty-seven fourteen, and they learned through patience and comfort of the scripture. Uh, I mean, that's what we're supposed to learn. Through patience and comfort of the scriptures. The scripture will tell us all that we need to know how the Lord works. How the Lord works. Now, let me go to verse 26. Okay, verse 26. Verse 26, read. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst, in, in the midst of the fire. And, okay, and they have no hurt. Okay? And the form of the foe is like the Son of God. Verse 26. Then Nebuchadnezzar, okay, came near to the mouth of the burning, okay, of the burning fire. Burning fire furnace, and and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, okay, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came, okay, came forward of the midst of the fire. Now, the king saw them walking in the fire and had no hurt. This is the miraculous power 
We say that God is omnipotent. God is all power. There's no fire. There's no river. There's nothing. There's nothing too hard for God. He created everything. So the fire means nothing to him. And uh, he looked and he said, did not we catch three? He said, but I see four men walking. He said, what were they doing there? I don't know, but I believe they had fellowship in the fire. That's what I believe now. I believe they had, they had a sweet fellowship with the Lord in the fire. Now, we come to verse 27. This will be our last verse. We come to verse 27, and then we'll try to sum it up. Okay, 27. Look at verse 27. Now, before I read verse 27, we said we wanted to, uh, we wanted the people uh, that who bowed to know the, the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That's what we said. Uh, they represent more like the world, and we, uh, the Lord, in this in this time, and uh, the people who bowed down. All of those people were lost because they bowed down to an image. But when we look at verse 27, we look at verse 27, and let me read that. Okay? Verse 27. And verse 27 read, And the princes, the governors, the captains, and the king counselors, being gathered together, saw the men which is very important, upon whom, upon whose body the fire had no power, nor was and hell of their head sin. Neither were smell of fire had passed on them. Okay, now <clears throat> these men who bowed down in the early part of the chapter, we we see these men here. We see these men here, okay. And the scripture said they saw these men. Shabbat Meshach and Abednego said they saw them, where the fire had had no power. The fire had no power. Nothing can have power over us unless the Lord permits it. Nothing can have power over us unless the Lord permits it. Now, and what did what and they say it's no smell. It's, it's no smell. We don't smell nothing. So this is this is where the nose come in. He said they said we don't smell anything. Now these are the people who have bowed down. Bowed down. And they have saw the Lord work. And when we are obedient to the Lord, the world will see the Lord working us also. Yes, it will. They see the Lord working us. And these men right here who bow down to an image, the scripture says in Psalm 27, I mean, I mean verse 27, they saw these men. And no hurt, no smell at all. And that's what we that's what that's what we want to do. We want to have an impact. We want to see people in the world get saved. And the way that way they would do that is like right here. It's like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego is what they did. Not only did they meet these men, the counselors, the princes, the governors, these are the same people that bowed down to an image. And they have seen the miraculous power of God. And they said they, they, there's no smell on them. And we know they put them in the, in the fire with the hats, in the coats, in the hoser. And they said, we don't smell nothing. We don't smell a thing. Not one, they said, not a hair was scorched or anything. Not a hair. And they said, we don't, we, we, uh, we don't smell nothing. 
Now you're supposed to smell something with, the, with them clothes on, but they didn't, they didn't smell anything. And it just shows us the miraculous power of God. He's omnipotent. And uh, we're gonna pick up next week, but the point I want to drive home tonight is these men right here, the princes, the captains, the governor, they saw these three boys. And the fire had no power. Had no power. And we want to see are uh, they gonna to come to, to the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego what they call it because that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. What we have to do is wait on the Lord and be of good, good courage. Wait on the Lord. And, and he said, and again I said, wait on the Lord. And what he will do, he will strengthen. He will strengthen our hearts. No matter what is facing us, he will strengthen our hearts and we need to wait on him. And when he does come, when he does deliver, he's going to show himself mightily, which he did right here. So what we'll do is uh, pick up next week and we'll close it out. We'll pick up next week because uh, we were aiming at the men who bowed there to this image. And we can see these men right here. They said they saw these men. And it had no hurt. And the fire had no power. So they saw a strong testimony, and that's what uh that's why we're here. To have a testimony to be a light in in, in this dark world. So I like to uh, close right here. And uh if you want to pray, you want to pray a verse, you'll pray to, uh, Psalm 2714. Lord help me to, to wait on you and not get ahead of you. Help me to wait on you and allow you to work. And Lord, strengthen my heart. Strengthen my heart so that I can uh, trust you. So I'm gonna stop right here. Now, there may be someone that is unseen. And uh, you may be bowing down to the idols of this world, just like these people did. But you see believers all the time. You see, believers talks about the Lord Jesus Christ, his death, burial, and resurrection. And uh, you can come to, you can come and get saved. You can get saved, and you can get saved today. As I said last time, all your sins have been paid for, or every last one of them. And all you have to do is accept what the Lord has done for you. He died on the cross for your sins, was buried, and rose from the dead. And you can pray a prayer like this. Dear God, I am a sinner, and I'm sorry for my sins. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins, that you were buried, that you rose from the dead. Lord Jesus, come into my heart and save me. And believers, as, as we mentioned, we can pray, Lord, help me, Lord, to wait on you. Strengthen my heart, Lord. No matter what I have to go through, strengthen my heart and help me to wait on you. And uh, I'm going to close in prayer right now. Dear the Father, I do thank you, Lord, for your word and I ask you, Lord, to undertake and have your way. In Jesus' name I pray and give thanks. Amen. We're going to close with Daniel out next time. Okay. And uh, hold, to the, hold to God's word. <laughs>